but the families of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron Goldman, they knew O.J. as the cold-blooded killer who they believe murdered their loved ones and got away with it. In 1995, few Americans can forget at the time, Simpson was acquitted of murder after what was the trial of the decade. A year earlier, O.J. Simpson's ex-wife, Nicole Brown, and her friend, Ronald Goldman, they were brutally stabbed to death outside of Brown's condo. Now, Nicole Brown was nearly decapitated. A short time later, police uncovered what they believe what was a mountain of evidence against O.J. Simpson. An arrest warrant was issued, but O.J. refused to turn himself in. Instead, we had Americans all across the country watching as O.J. Simpson led the police on a sl uh, slow speed chase in that infamous white Ford Bronco. An estimated 95 million people watched this bizarre chase. Most people, if you were watching, you remember where you were at the time this was going on and the day, the verdict around the world. Take a look. All right, Deputy Jeffs, would you just take a step back, please? Thank you. Can we ask him to straighten his fingers and extend them into the blood of one normal who might put a blood on him? Yeah, I object yes. to this statement by counsel. All right, he appears to have pulled the gloves on, counsel. All right, would you show that to the jury, Mr. Simpson, in that manner? Thank you. Other hand, please. Can we ask him to make a question, please? Maybe I can demonstrate this graphically. Let me show you something. This is a knit cap. I'm going to put this knit cap on. And you've been seeing me for a year. If I put this knit cap on, who am I? I'm still Johnny Cochran with a knit cap. And if you look at O.J. Simpson over there, and he has a rather large head, O.J. Simpson in a knit cap from two blocks away is still O.J. Simpson. It doesn't fit. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit.